So you're looking to buy a new EEC and you don't know what battery cell type to get. So this is the exact predicament I found myself in when I was pre-ordering my Leapicum Lynx. And there's a lot of discussion right now. So I reached out to a bunch of people because I'm not an expert on the subject to get some clarification. So thanks to local ride group, Tim, David, uh, e-riders and electrical engineer, Jordan. Big thanks to those guys. So we'll start off with a summary from Jordan. He says, the 50S is likely to tolerate fast charging better, um, but that's only going to be limited by the main supply at 10 amps. And he also said that it's going to be more efficient, which will generate less heat and less voltage sag, which may slightly increase uh, the efficiency and also therefore um, the battery percent just a couple percent but probably unnoticeable for most riders and then the most important reason for me which is one of the main ones i got the 50s is that uh, it's safer at sudden unexpected loads so if you hit a sudden little uphill at speed or uh, how about a pothole i've gotten a beep over a pothole and i'm a harder rider so i do like to push it and lean and that's why big reason why I went for the 50S. But as e riders pointed out, for the average casual rider, you're probably not gonna notice it and you can save yourself that extra bit of money. So this is a bit more of a complex topic, so I'm gonna pull up over here so we can have a bit of a longer chat. What's up everyone, I'm Jono, and I started by asking Jordan a bunch of questions. Um, some of them were not too informed. Uh, I'm not an expert on this subject, so that's why it's great to get a perspective from an electrical engineer. So I asked Jordan, uh, can we expect a greater range of performance over the full 100% EUC battery, faster riding, acceleration and hill climb power demands with a lower risk of cutout due to less voltage sag risks at lower battery due to the high current output of the 50S? Jordan said, yep, long story short, cutout mostly relevant at high speed, 50E will give you current at low speed, you'll just blow up a lot of heat in the cells is all. So my next question was, high continuous peak output for longer speed runs or hill climbs with lower risk of cell damage with the 50S. So Jordan responded with, you'll waste less power in the battery and heat it up less in the extreme case of overheating your battery pack 50S will take much longer, thanks to reduced energy waste. So my next proposition was that 50S is predicted to be better with higher voltage EUCs since they have less parallel packs and thus shared amps. Jordan replied with, doesn't matter, only total power demand. Higher voltage EUCs are often higher power, but it could be 100 volt like the Sherman, doesn't make a difference. So a quick interlude to say, uh, if you'd like to support the channel and are looking for a new EC, then use my code at eRiders. All right, thanks guys. Um, so I said then, why aren't all EUCs 50S if they're so great? Which I answered myself saying cost and they're fairly new technology. That's why we don't actually know the results of them yet until we get longer term riding reviews. But that's why we have to speculate now because the newer models are coming out with 50S and we have to make an informed decision. So this is the big one, guys. Uh, the big debate about the life cycle being half the 50E cells. However, the test data is for maximum current draw of 25 amps. This is 2.6 times out of the 50E cells, meaning it's working a lot harder and likely generating more heat, thus degrading the cells much faster. So I went on with our use case in EUCs won't be working the cells this hard continuously. Therefore, it's predicted that the life cycle would be improved dramatically and maybe as good as the 50E under the lighter load conditions. Jordan responded with, yep, all low life cycle rumor is based on 25 amp 5C discharge testing, which is extremely high loading. Oh, so I wanted to do a quick work example. Uh, we're expecting about 600 life cycles of the 50S based on this graph. And that's, that's not ruined after that. It's 82% capacity at that point, still pretty good. And if we just run the rough numbers, 70Ks per charge, that's giving 
42,000 kilometres of range before even the 82% degradation of the cell. So honestly, it doesn't look like anything to worry about. All right, back to the chat. So for the full transcript, I'm going to be posting that on the Electric Unicycle Forum. I'll put the link down below for you guys. Finally, Jordan says, it's not a huge difference, but given the choice, 50S is better than 50E, basically. And most people buying the Lynxes are probably best for the best types, which, yeah. <laughs> and if you're riding uh, to the limit, then you want that extra little bit of safety margin. So that should clear things up somewhat. And I hope you enjoyed this first episode of my new season of videos. And yeah, you guessed it. It's going to be all about the Leafcom Lynx. I got a huge uh, list of ideas. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm excited. Cheers, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.